Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. My name is Rabbit Luigi and in the last episode we went around Hyrule once again and picked up a couple more heart pieces. We have uh, a couple. We're two away from having our second row of hearts which is a is an achievement in any Zelda game. It's a good feeling. We haven't got everything that we can get right now, but we've got enough that I'm I'm feeling comfortable about my lot in life or something. We're going to go down to Telma's bar. We were instructed to do that by a letter at some point. I forget when that happened, if that was last episode or the episode before that. But we need to do it in order to progress the story. Quite important. Am I just gonna- Oh, it's gonna bring out this voice. Oh no! Oh my, if it isn't jackass, this will have to do. You are really- You're not even trying with that. You just- Just look at this pose. Look at this pose. You made it. How you been, honey? Mercy, you have good time. And I was just talking about you. Oh my god. Uh, hey everybody, introduce yourselves. I have to think about who's talking. Uh, this handsome young man is the infamous jackass. The infamous jackass. There you go. That is your title. You remember what I told you before, honey? These are those friends I mentioned. The ones who are trying to help deal with all the troubles in Hyrule. Actually, there's one more of us, but there's been a disturbing turn of events in the eastern desert, so he's gone to check it out. You say disturbing turn of events. We are at kind of war with a really weird man who has the capabilities of turning things to twilight. That's pretty disturbing. You say it turned. What else has changed? He's an older man known, uh, named Auru. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Auru. That would Auru Auru. Auru? How do you say his name? If you happen to meet him, definitely take the time to talk with him, okay, honey? Well, you've come all the way here, honey, so why don't you relax a bit? This is kind of okay. Why don't you be sociable and talk to these folks? They're a jolly bunch. Can I sit down? You got a seat? Why can't I sit down? That's really bad. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. It, he, very, very, very talkative. Let me look at this map. I want to look at this map. Because I'm sure there's something interesting. I don't know who's talking. Uh, that old, that, that old codger, Auru, Auru works, is at, is at Lake Hylia, studying the desert. Uh, we gotta go there eventually, but we're gonna talk to people here right now, because we can. You're the posh guy. Oh, hello there, you must be Jackass, correct? I'm Shad, wonderful to meet you. Tell me, told me you've, you've all been up to, all you've been up to. You're rather formidable. I'm rather not, I'm afraid. Well, I'm formidable at uh, book reading, but I lack, shall we say, physical skills. And that said, if the history and legends of Hyrule are your cup of tea, I'm your fellow. If you're curious, just ask away. I'm, at the moment, not that curious. Hello, you have the same look on your face. Almost as Agatha, the scowl, the I hate you look. It's a shay. A shay? A, a shay is the best I can do. I grew up in the mountains with my father, who was, who was a knight in his own right. A knight in his own right, to love the rhyming. He taught me the arts of war as, as though I was his son. Of course, lessons in common courtesy were not part of the uh, regiment. Regiment? Mm, re, re, regiment? Regiment. Not regiment. I don't know, I'm reading things wrong. So forgive me if I come off, of, come off this room. <laughs> Listen, before I blab both of your ears off, I want to tell you something. Snow Peak, the mountain to the north of Hyrule, it's unlike any mountain I've ever known. I don't know much yet, but things happen there that happen on no other mountain I know of. Evil controls it. That's not a good thing. As soon as I know something more, I'll tell you. Until then, until then you should stay away, yeah? That stay away from Snow Peak doesn't sound like a lot of fun. You're the postman. I'm gonna talk to the postman. <laughs> Always gonna talk to the postman. What are you doing? What's water? What's water? I do believe I'll start with the meat. They sell meat here? Why can't I have meat? I only get like, you know, get to stare at her boobs all day. That's quite good. I'm gonna meet you in Lake Hylia. I do have a bit of a wheeze going on. That's because I uh, spent at least a little bit of today feeding uh, baby lambs and they're... I don't know, the air is very thick. We've got like this, this temporary shed. You can't move it. It weighs a ton, but it's not quite a shed. It's made out of plastic, but it is... Uh, it, it basically houses... Why am I pressing buttons when I can just do that? I can do that. Don't say you can't do it. I can. But uh, yeah, the, the hay, the straw... The straw, I know it's straw. The straw is rather thick. It, it, it makes the air thicker than it should be, basically. And it means that I have a bit of a wheeze going on. Occasionally when I end sentences, it'll be like a <gasps> or whatever, I don't know. I'm, I'm not that unfit, I just, you know. I'm not that unfit. I just, it's just, it's just the fucking, uh, stupid straw stuff. Press the button, it's all the way over there. My gamepad isn't very far away from where I am now, but it's, I almost, it's weird how circumstances change. I kind of want, like, one button that I can press on my pro- I'm, One button that I can press on my pro controller that will do the same job. I- I want that. You are interesting. I thought it was about time for you to arrive. You've got quite a deep voice, I feel. Master Jackass, is it? Yes. It's me. Ah, oh, you. You do know Telma, don't you? I'm 
Auru, Auru, I am part of the group that Telma kindly allows to meet at her bar. I've heard all about your deeds from her. I am, I am good at this job. Now, you being a, cor a courageous youth, you have likely heard of the strange events in the desert and come to investigate, no? Maybe, maybe, or am I mistaken? Don't even give me a, don't even give me the option to try, do you? You do, you do know, don't you, Master Jackass? The, the Gerudo Desert once held a prison built to how, hold the worst criminals this land has ever known. The criminals who were sentenced to death were sent directly to the underworld by a cursed mirror that was kept in the prison. A cursed mirror! Now that prison is condemned, and even the road leading to the, to the desert is impassable. Impassable! This desert at World's End, it still holds the cursed mirror and the malice of the doomed inmates. We're looking for a mirror, I think. It's been a long time. These old bones know that the evil currently plaguing Haro is related to this wicked place, so I've come to learn the truth. Master Jackass, I must, I must ask, what will you do now? Don't tell me you plan to enter the desert and confirm my suspicions with your own eyes. I will- yeah, I'm a hero. Ah, oh, is that so? Then let- then let good old Auru help you out. I am looking forward to not saying your name again. You see Lake Hylia below us, a man named Fire. Fire? Fire is like a flyer joke. Cause he's got like a- no, Fire is a cannon joke! Cause he has a cannon thing. He runs a amusement ride of it, of sorts here. Give him this. I have an Auru's memo, which lets me do things. It- it has an added bonus for the- the- the cannon guy. See, so long ago I saved this man Fire's life, and now he cannot refuse me if I ask a favor. If you leave the rest up to Fire, all should go well. I don't think- I don't think for this that we need, uh, any money. I forget if we need money. He has more use. The cannon guy, he has a decent amount of use in this game. Uh, we use him now to get to where we need to go. Kind of. I don't know if that's a spoiler. I mean, what else are we going to use the cannon guy for if not to shoot us to where we need to go? It's our method of transportation, clearly. We'll use him more than once to go a couple of places. I don't know if for that second time we need to pay him. I don't think. We might need to pay him to get there. That could be a mild stumbling block, because I lack the money. I lack the monetary power. I need this. This is clearly the slot for the weird... Uh, quest important items. There you go. Have a memo. You need this. You got a huh from old Aru. Yeah, I've seen his different voice. Oh well, I guess I have to say, we'll do what the co old Kut says. He's very similar voice. Oasis flight, right? So here you go. One of our top se on our secret options not available to the general public. This time's all paid for. So what'd you say? You want to go? This time is all paid for. That is important. Next time I gotta pay. That's nice. Sweet sailing, buddy of mine. One for Oasis. Fire in the hole. Uh, we're not going up to the. To the area at the top of Lake Hylia where we do the funky cuckoo game. We're not doing that. We're going we're going a slightly scenic route to a desert. Which sounds like way more fun, doesn't it? Oh no. Oh why? I mean, you know, you gotta have these moments in Zelda where very serious things. This game tries to be quite serious. Then we have this. Look kind of like I don't know. It's good. I won't. I won't criticize it for being anything other than funny and good and nonsensical. But it's a. It's an interesting clash of uh, moods. Welcome to Gerudo Desert. Looks a bit different in this game. I mean, it looks a bit more chasmic in this game. Uh, we can't get lost here. Wait, check us. We can't get lost here, which is quite nice. But you know, it's a bit different. The music's really good when we get the music. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. Just taking periodic breaks to cough my guts out. Ah, uh, here we go. What, 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 what do you think happened to the magic builders who tried to rule the sacred realm? This is where that cutscene kind of comes back. They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. Yep. Let's have a cutscene out of nowhere. But that's fine. We get some uh, get some backstory. It was another world entirely. The antithesis of Hyrule, where the sun where the sun shines bright. Its denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. They were they were moved to a damn bad place. Eventually, most came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. We've had some bad things. They were forever doomed to live in the twilight, flitting in, in the half light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule. It's nice that they had this place. You could just be in like a shadow realm and not having like a, no buildings or anything. This is the history of the twilight as it's been passed down from our, from our ancestors. It's a good history. Not, not, a, not an amazing history. Do you now understand what I am? Not a good thing. I'm a descendant of the tribe that was banished to the Twilight Realm. I actually stopped then. I didn't want to talk over her. Because she said something funny when she did it originally. I remember seeing like videos pointing it out. It was a peaceful place until the Senate took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed all of the Twilight into shadow beasts. Oh, I killed lots of them. 
I killed lots of them. Oh, that's not good. Never seen the one on the left. We never see that. We never see the disc ones. I wonder why. Not even... We never see them. I mean, you can do the weird thing. It's clear to me now that he's somehow gained a great evil power, previously unknown to our tribe. Which you were trying to get in different powers. Don't, don't worry. In any case, I was sent from there and could no longer get into the Twilight Realm without its power. You know, you banished and then, I don't know. It's very confusing. Getting a lot of exposition. It's just like, have some story. But there's another tale told by my people. Listen to my little tale. So the goddesses forbade us to return to the world of light. They left one link between the light and the darkness. And it's in red because it's my name. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed to the protectors of Hyrule. We're, we're, we're gonna get it, okay? It's already passed to the Twilight Realm. We must get there. We're gonna go to the Twilight Realm, clearly. You'll come with me, won't you? I've got no choice. It's what I've been doing this whole time. I can be a wolf now. Whatever, let's get on with things. The reason why I didn't talk over her saying that she's a descendant of the of the people of the Twilight Realm, whatever, that sort of thing, is because there was a video I remember like like eons ago. Love the music by the way. Eons ago in the in the in the ages of YouTube, like before I even started making videos on YouTube. That's how long ago that was. Oh god, that was ages ago. There was a video which pointed out that, oh my god, did Midna swear in Twilight Princess? And it says something like I don't care, bitches. But it's, it's that's not what she says. It's not that obvious, but it's a sort of thing where if if it's pointed out that that is what she says, your brain kind of fills in the blanks and assume not assumes, but kind of yeah, that's it, 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 it wants to it wants to believe that. So it will kind of warp it in such a way that uh, makes it so that you believe it or whatever. It's it's psychology of that sort of thing where people pointed out in in like Led Zeppelin songs, you're playing backwards. It's a satan it's a satanic thing. These enemies are really annoying. I would like this thing without fucking. I don't want to fight with the enemies. Oh, okay, gotta get to get it. No, I need this. Need this is a this is a dragonfly or something like a sand dragonfly. I would like it. Whoa, I got, where's the shadow? But yeah, it's the idea that. Um, I wanted to see if she said the same thing. She didn't. It was something else. Maybe people caught on to the phone. Oh, no, can I, I can get across it, can't I? Because I know what this thing is. It's a pea hat thing. That was a very bad shot. This is a. This is what a pea hat looks like nowadays. I don't know why I'm doing this because I can just go around. <laughs> Whatever. I, I want to go over to that platform over there. You can see a giant thing sticking out of it. Uh, we don't really have a use for it now. Can we do it now? We could do it now. I don't think there's any real reason why we can't. Oh, these enemies. These are worse! Are they called levers? Levers in, uh... Oh dear, levers in Ocarina of Time for the Gerudo Desert in that game. They were pretty annoying. I don't think they're, they're as bad as these the weird sandworm things which are trying to leap out the ground. That, may, that might be worse. They, they, they actually want to attack you. They really are trying to attack me and it's very, very annoying. Please leave me alone. Oh god, my voice can't take it now. We need to go up here. I want to see if we can do this. Can we just... There was... Yeah, I saw the... I saw the, the target thing. This is a pea hat tree. I don't know. I'm going to presume it's a pea hat tree. I want this. Now, over here is an important thing. Uh, other than the fact that we can use this... Okay. That's good. we got to walk back to Gerudo Desert. Didn't even know this was here. I mean, I did, but I forgot about it. Should I do all of these... As a human, I feel like I should, you know? <laughs> oh, okay. How many how many hits does it take to kill these things, by the way? Because I kind of want to know. Uh, we got to sort of slow, and we'll just go really slowly come towards you. Really, really, really slow. Don't walk away! You're going to ruin my plan! Oh, get the fuck back here! Oh, I didn't work. Okay, we're doing it. That was the wrong button. We're doing this as a wolf, because it's, like, much less of a hassle. And, you know, we have this magic power. Do we take, like, loads of damage from these guys as a wolf? Is that, is that, the, is that the gimmick? That kind of worked. Didn't really work. We can get two of them now. There we go. Oh, I hit the ceiling! What a feeling! Didn't even hit the ceiling! Okay. Attack him quickly. I hit the side. Was the, I hit the fucking uh, funky side of this arena, which cancels the animation of doing the weird spinny thing. It's not really what we wanted to do. Anyway, whatever. We won't give a shit because we're here to do a thing. We're here to do another thing, but we're here to do this thing right now because we might as well. There is also a Poe. Hello, Poe. How many Poes have we killed? Good question. We can find that out in our menu, but we're not going to do it now because we're fighting one right now. Don't get distracted. Fight the Poe. There we go. Uh, yes. This bridge 
I didn't I, I didn't say it was a bridge. Didn't say it was a bridge. I just said it was a lump of lump, lump of material. Hello, Midna. Tell me where this goes. What is this thing? I don't know. I mean, I do know, but I'm just gonna presume it kind of goes over here. Would that's the wrong one? I always forget what that is. Kind of goes over. Where's the? Where is this? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? I gave- I even got a warp out! Bridge of Elden, there you go. Fantastic. Now, we don't have to worry. I mean, we do kind of have to worry, but we can also- It's like, we're making a shortcut. Not quite a shortcut, but we've made a thing. We've made a thing happen. We're fixing parts of Hyrule, which were previously broken by the regime which was put in place, which was fucking up Hyrule in the first place. We are fixing Hyrule both, uh... Uh, abstractly is not the word I wanted. Both kind of uh, the thing which is opposite of physical, not emotionally. But we're fixing we're fixing Hyrule emotionally. We're we're also doing it physically is what I was trying to get to. Here we go. Now we can we can do the Jigglypuff glitch. Yeah, let's do that. Make Jigglypuff giant. That's a different game. Okay, whatever. That only just looks like it fits in there. I mean, it looked like that when it was destroyed. So clearly, it's been newly fixed or something. I don't know. We have a clear path on the Bridge of Elden, which is wonderful. I'm going to walk back to Gerudo Desert. I feel like Wolf Link might be quicker. Do we know this? Speedrunners, do we know this? What is the quickest way of moving on foot if you don't have a Pona? Pretty sure we can't have a Pona in Gerudo Desert, so... I think this might be quicker. We might take more damage. Is that what the Shadow Beasts do? We almost certainly take more damage from you, and also you, and also, oh no, we might just be human because we need to use arrows. All oh, the arrows, that's fine. Where's my arrows? I, here we go. This could be fun. <laughs> oh god, this is almost intra- no, no, that's good. Uh, let's, let's snipe these g Where are them? Where are they? They were here somewhere. He's over there. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. We'll deal with it. The arrows just keep going. There's like no drop-off on the arrows, which is amazing. Oh, what did I just get hit by? When, where am I being hit from? Why are there more arrow people? I don't even see you. Where are you going? Get, take one in the, in the chest. That apparently is an insta-kill. Good. Nope. Down. Down a bit more. Beautiful shot. Into the chest. Into the abdomen. That's also an insta-kill. There are chests built in to these these uprights. We can we can knock them down. We don't need to, but we can knock them down, which is nice. They're gonna have money. We don't need we need money. <clears throat> we need a bit of money. But not right now. We have we have other priorities. What we actually need, I think, are we gonna you're gonna make me go all the way back and go pick up one of those boars? We need one of those boars. Right then, let's do some damage with my giant lump of meat. Oh yeah! <laughs> Jackass is just about hanging on. We're gonna knock everything down, because we can. This feels like uh I'm not sure what this feels like. It feels like a King Kong game. Just gonna knock them down. Oh, it's ravaging downtown Tokyo. That is not King Kong, but we'll presume it is for the time being. I have very little control, but that's what makes it fun. He's not dead. He's just knocked out, kids. I believe up here somewhere. I would like to then I would like to end the episode off at not the nearest possible moment. But with a, a reasonable amount of quickness, you can hear my voice not kind of going, but my voice is getting tired, and that's absolutely fine, because I've had a busy day, whatever. Arrows. Arrows are nice. Did I not have enough arrows? How many arrows did I just get from that? Which means that I only have 27. Give me that uh, technique. What is the technique? We're up to five now. I don't know. <laughs> this could be my favorite one. I, I think I can remember what the remaining techniques are, and if this is what I think it is, this could be my favorite one, because it's it's something that changes, not really changes the combat, but makes it more interesting. I'm gonna cough again. Maybe that helped. At last, the skills I have to teach to you have entered the realm of true secrecy. They are forgotten, they are forgotten ways that do not leave our bloodline. Among the techniques I shall be teaching you are some that may even endanger you. Do you feel ready to learn these skills? I do, I very much do, very well. But before we begin, I must do the thing. Yeah, gotta know that I, I know. You think I forgot in that time? Come on, sir. You're better than that. You know, I know what I'm doing. I, what kind of hero do you think I am? Just teach me the techniques. Excellent. It appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My fifth hidden skill is the mortal draw. Let it be honed into your mind. This is not the most useful. 
but maybe my favorite. I do like this. I don't think you can use it that often, but it's kind of cool. The ways of the sword are known to many creatures, and some have st uh, strength for their guards against shield attacks and backslices. Should you encounter such a foe, the mortal draw that I'm about to teach you is most effective. You must sheath your sword and cast aside the most basic of sword skills, the ZL target. The most basic of sc sword skills, the ability to target your enemy. You must wait until your, your foe is upon you. Then, before your enemy can see through your ruse, you must quickly draw your blade with A. And you do something awesome. It's so cool. There is no defense for this. The mortal draw deals death. Oh, it's so good. Very well. Now try it. Now, I mean, what I mean by this not having a lot of uses, it has a ton of uses. It never stops being useful. The problem is, most of the time when you see an enemy, and this is, you learn this by playing Zelda games. As soon as you get a, uh, see an enemy, you get your sword out. You need to do it with the mindset of not getting your sword out. And the risk, as he says, hmm, this, that was a point of strike, but do not forget that this technique leaves your life at risk. That is a serious problem, because I take lots of damage, so... There's a less, less of an inclination to use it, but it kills things in one shot, so maybe that's worth it. The fifth hidden skill of the mortal draw has been passed on. There's a lot of risk, but it is really cool. It's so cool. I love it. That's that's maybe the, the best thing that they added. I mean, you know, shield attacks and hell splitters are good, but that is like a... Is that maybe a speedrunning technique? I don't know why I'm, I'm, I'm peddling the speedrunning community to say, Did you guys use this? I've never even looked at a speedrun before, but you know... I like to think that might be quite useful. If you need to kill an enemy, that is the fastest way of doing it. Now then, up here somewhere, I need to burp. Ah, oh, where are we going? I don't know, I need to burp, no. <clears throat> I also need to like, not this way. I also need to cough really badly, but I'll continue till the end of the episode in my slightly grisly state. This is an important area, a quite important area. Because a lot of shit happens. This is... You're going to tell me... Ah, oh, it's a Bulkablin. It's not a Bulkablin. It's a Bulbin. Please don't hurt me. This has been Rabbit Luigi. Can I hit him from here? You know I can. You know I can. I'm going to hit him in the head. Hit him in the head. That was a shoulder. That's like a head. Let's presume I hit him in the head. Because that sounds awesome. This has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD. And in the next episode, we're going to go through here. It's quite an interesting area. There are many things that happen. Some of them are very difficult, I, if you, if you know what this area is, and the fact that I take, you know, four times damage, this will be very difficult, and I will not take my Ganon Little Amiibo off at any point, and it'll be very funny, and it'll be, you know, take a really long time, that's fine by me. This, uh, uh, well, I already said that, let's not do that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.